हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सॉल्व दिस नाइस मैथ ओलम्पेडर जबरा प्रॉब्लम सो हियर वी हैव एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस टू होल स्क्वेयर इक्वल्स टू एक्स प्लस टू एंड वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स सो हियर वी वी विल सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विद द हेल्प ऑफ जबरिक आइडेंटिटी यू नो दैट इफ वी हैव ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वेयर it is equals to a square minus 2 times of ab plus b square so here first we use this x uh, this nice formula so according to this we will write our left hand side of the above equation as so here our a is x square and our b is 2 so uh, we just substitute these two values in the right hand side and we will get the output of this term is Uh, we have x square and its whole square minus 2 times of ab so here our a is x square and b is 2 and plus b square so b is 2 square and it is equals to x plus 2 okay so here uh, further we need a uh, more simplifications here Uh, and now we write this x square and its whole square we write this term as x square and it is multiplied by x square and minus this is 2 times of 2 becomes here 4 times of x square and plus this is 2 square equals to 4 and we move these two terms from right hand side to the left hand side so this is plus x becomes minus x and this is plus 2 becomes minus 2 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step uh, here we need more simplifications and now first you focus on these two terms and here we uh, take common x square so when you take common x square then we obtain here again x square and here when you take common x square then we get minus 4 and this is Uh, minus x and this plus four and minus two is equals to plus two and this whole equals to zero. So uh, in the next step here uh, we will just take common negative sign from this term and we rewrite this whole equation as in this form x square into we write this as x square minus we write four as uh, 2 square here we take common minus and we get x minus 2 equals to 0 so here we use this uh, algebraic formula we know that if you have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so according to this formula we write this term as in this form so this is x square into Now uh, here we have x minus two times of uh, x plus two minus this is our x minus two equals to zero. And now in the next step uh, here you see that we have x minus two be the common term so that we take common x minus two here and we get the remaining terms are when you take common x minus two from here we get uh, remaining terms are x square into x plus two. and when you take common x minus 2 from here we get only 1 and this whole equals to 0 so now we convert this into the two cases so that our first case is we take x minus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we take this whole term equals to 0 so here we multiply this x square on both of these terms and it will be written as x cubed plus 2x square minus 1 equals to 0 Okay, so from the first case, we easily get the value of x equals to two. This is the our first real solution of the given equation because our equation is fourth order, so we get all the four root of the given equation. So uh, in order to solve this cubic equation, we will easily make the factors of this equation. So we write it as x cubed plus two x square. we rewrite this minus 1 as minus 2 plus 1 equals to 0 and now further in the next step here uh, we rearrange the terms and we make this x cube with plus 1 and it will be written as x cubed plus uh, 1 and here we take common 2 and we get 2 times of x square minus 1 
and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we write this one as 1 cube and uh, we uh, we will we have just these two values here so uh, in the first term uh, we will apply the cubic formula and here we write this one as one square and here we write the square identity which we can write above here so now first we can write the cubic formula you know that if we have a cubed plus b cubed it is equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square so according to this cubic formula we write over this factor as in this form so this is x cubed plus 1 cubed we write it as x plus 1 times of uh, x square minus x plus 1 and here you have plus 2 we can apply uh, this uh, square identity again here so according to this formula we write x square minus 1 square as x minus 1 times of x plus 1 equals to 0. So further we need a more simplification here and you see that we have x plus 1 be the common term so that here we take common x plus 1 and the remaining terms are here we obtain x square minus x plus 1 and when you take common x plus 1 the remaining term are this is 2 times of x minus 1 here we multiply these 2 on both of these terms and it will be written as plus 2x minus 2 and this whole equals to 0 so here we need more simplifications and we write it as x plus 1 times of here you have x square this is minus x plus 2x equals to plus x and 1 minus 2 equals to minus 1 and this whole equals to 0 and now after that we again divide this equation into the two cases so here we have the first case is x plus 1 equals to 0 and the second case is we write x square plus x minus 1 equals to 0 so here we easily get the second root of the given equation and it is x equals to minus 1 uh, so now in order to find the other roots uh, we need to solve this quadratic equation uh, so here we can apply the quadratic formula so first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 1 and c equals to minus 1 uh, so we state the quadratic formula as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac and it is divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a b and c here and it will be written as x equals minus b the value of b is minus 1 plus minus square root of b square b is 1 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is minus 1 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is also 1 okay so further we need more simplifications and we write it as x equals to minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 square equals to 1 this is minus times of minus becomes plus 4 and it is divided by 2 so finally we have the other two complex roots of the given other two uh, roots of the given equation are this is 1 plus 4 becomes uh, square root of 5 and it is divided by 2 so these are the other two roots of the given equation uh, and we have x equals to 2 and x equals to minus 1 these are the other two roots which we can find above so these are the total four roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos